want to learn how to make this? Well, today is your lucky day. I'll show you how to make any custom advancement you want with as little effort as possible. Before we start, if this video is helpful, please consider subscribing. I'm kind of new to the YouTube scene and I would greatly appreciate it. I'm on Linux, but the steps should be similar on Windows, so just ask if in the comments if you need any help. Diving right in, the first thing we need to do is make a data pack. If you haven't done this before, it's super simple and I'll take you through step by step. First, we need to make a folder to store your data packs. Just right click in the empty space and click new folder. Type in the name, I'm just going to use data packs and hit enter. Then you can double click on that folder to open it. And inside here, we need to make another folder for this data pack. Type in the name for your data pack. I'm going to call it tutorial and create it. Since I already have this done, I'm actually going to go ahead and paste it in to take you through what I have made. Open that folder and inside we need two things. One, another folder called data. This needs to be all lowercase, no capitals. And the other thing is a text document called pack.mcmeta. So right click, create a new text document, and then rename it, renaming the entire thing including the .txt, and we're going to rename it to pack.mcmeta, and open that up. So here you can just copy the text on screen. This pack format thing just tells Minecraft what version of the game your pack is meant for, but it should work on a different version. 61 is the format for 1.21.4, so I am going to use that. And then the description is obviously just a description. So hit Control and S at the same time to save that, and then you can close it. Next, open your data, and we need a new folder, again with the name of this data pack. But this time, it can't have any spaces or capital letters. This is the name that you are going to use in commands, so keep it short so it's easy to type. Inside that, you want to make another new folder, and this one is called Advancement. No S, just Advancement. Again, all lowercase. Open that, and here's where we actually start to get some stuff done. Make another new folder. This one should have the name of the new tab you want to make in the advancement menu. So, I'm just going to keep mine tutorial. Open that, and now you see our advancements here. The first one is the actual tab, so make a new text document and rename it, like before, the entire thing to root.json. And now, I'm going to use a tool that is super helpful when making really any sort of data pack called Mesode, I believe. So, you can find it at this link up here. And we are going to use, obviously, the Advancement Generator. If you don't see it, just click on All Generators, and you should find it here. So once we go to that, make sure your version over here is set to the version that you're making this for, and we can start creating. So, the first thing you add is a display. This is going to be the block or item or whatever that appears in the tab, or in the advancement. So, for example, just use a command block, and you can see it there, what it'll look like. You can add components to it, like enchantments, and the count you can set to 
whatever you want. I believe I'm just going to use one. The title. This is going to be the title of your advancement and or tab. We're working on the tab. So just call it tutorial or whatever. And then description. You put in the description that you want when you hover over it. Next, we need the background. It is actually a link to a texture. So, for example, here, I am using a netherite block at Minecraft colon textures slash block slash netherite underscore block dot png. Next, we need the frame, which task is your normal one, challenge, goal. I can show you what those look like. I'm using a challenge for my actual advancement and task for my default one. And for your root, you're probably just going to want to set all these to false. You can see show toast is the pop-up in the top right. Announce to chat is whether you want to announce it to chat. And then hidden is whether then the advancement is invisible to the player or not. So, just put all of those to false for your root, and leave the parent as blank. So, now criteria. This is the way you get the advancement. You can type in a name, really just use whatever for the criteria. You can call it the name, and just click the plus. Then for trigger, we can see a bunch of things here, bread animals, brood potion, avoid vibration, that kind of thing. But you're going to want to scroll down, and near the bottom there is tick, which means it just happens on the tick. So, always. Meaning, this will always be unlocked. You can make that false, but I like to have my thing always start unlocked. Then, just copy this entire thing that it generates for you. And then paste it into your root. And then, to test that this works, go back to where you found, uh, created your data pack. You're going to want to right-click on it and copy it. Then you're going to want to find the world that you want to add it to. So, in Minecraft, click on the world, click on Edit, and click Open a World Folder. Here, you can find data packs and paste it in there. You can just close that if you want. Go back into Minecraft. And save or cancel, it doesn't matter. Start your world. If you are already in the world and you added it, do slash reload. And then, if you open up the menu, you should see it here. Your new tab. And you can see the background, the name, and if you hover over this here, your description. This is kind of what the task outline looks like. Let me see if I can find more. This is goal. It's more rounded. And then this is challenge. Which, maybe you want to add a new thing. How do we do this and how do we get it chained to this? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Go back to where you were working on your thing. And you can actually just duplicate your root and rename it to your new advancement. Like, for example, my aw man. The reason I have the underscore here, again, no spaces and no capital letters. So we're going to go back to Mesode. And this time is going to be slightly different. We don't use a background. So... You can have the name the same. This one can have spaces and capitals. So, name, description. So, I'm going to put die 
to a creeper, and I'm going to change the command block to a creeper head. And then down here, this time, you can change your frame if you want. I set it to challenge, but this time you're going to want to change show toast and announce to chat to true. Leave hidden as false. And parent, this time, we need to parent it to our root. Go back to data, and the first name you used, you're going to want to put that in. So to tutorial, and then colon. Go back, open that, go into advancement, and then the folder we put here. So, again, I used another tutorial. And then put slash, and then we used root. So, this will parent it to our advancement, which is tutorial, tutorial, root. And now, we need to change the trigger. Tick isn't going to work, so remove that, and I'm going to just put a uh, die, I guess. And we need to put um, entity killed player and add some conditions. The entity we will set to an object, and then we can change the type to a list. Hit add, and entity we can find creeper. Again, copy this, paste it into your new one. And once you reload, you should find it here. Now, remember to add, if you changed your pack in a different folder than your world, you need to copy the new one into your world before you reload. But now, if I remove it from myself, uh, so if I take it from myself, you can see I no longer have it. And if I get a creeper and switch to survival, you can see it worked. So have fun with this. I will show one more thing about this. If you set the trigger to where is it? Impossible. That just means there is no way to get the advancement without commands. But in your data pack, if you watch some other tutorials, you could set it up so that it, when something happens, it runs a command to give the player the advancement. So using impossible, you can create some of your own stuff that isn't here. For example, one time I made a advancement that you got for falling and surviving on half a heart. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope this tutorial helped you out. Like I said at the beginning, if it did, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.